Okay, so my job is to moderate, moderate, moderate this panel. Um, and the reason we're having this panel is that, uh, you know, you were listening all morning to, to Jean, to the other panel. One of the things that we have to think about when we're thinking about what are we doing in our schools is how can we tell people about what we're doing in our schools. And part of how we tell people is through assessment and measurement. And that's why we have these fabulous experts here uh, to talk about this. These things are in the news a lot. We often see them as kind of, you're a kind of either or person to do with how we often think measurement, that means testing, the end, I either hate it or I love it. But it's really, really important that we have deeper conversations than that about using data about understanding all of the downsides of measurement and assessment and all of the, uh, the ways in which they actually help us understand what we're doing. So that's why we have these fabulous people up here to have this conversation. We hope they're going to disagree with each other. We hope that we're going to debate some things, but we also hope we can get at the sort of deeper issues to do with measurement and assessment. Um, I think... I'm going to introduce you all at once so I don't have to keep getting up because I'm so old and I ate all those sandwiches. Um, and how we're sort of going, the movement of this is from um, big, big, big picture uh, towards the classroom. And I won't say down because it, there's not a hierarchy here in terms of importance. So Sam Seller, who's right here on my, this is my learning challenge, right, this is my right, your left. Yes, I can't tell right from left, oh well. Um, I, I, we've known Sam for quite a while and we really, really love him um, because he's very smart and he's from Australia. But um, he is now at Manchester Metropolitan University and his research focuses on education policy and large-scale assessments and all of the kind of new accountabilities in, in schooling. Um, so we hear a lot about PISA, about other kinds of large-scale international assessments. He's an expert on that. He is working with a team of colleagues on an international study of data infrastructure in schools and school systems. In Australia, uh, the US, Canada, and Japan. Um, he also works closely with teachers associations that we met him through the Alberta Teachers Association, I think, who we love, around the world to employ, uh, explore the impacts of uh, data, datafication. Um, he has written a really great book uh, called The Global Education Race, Taking the Measure of PISA and International Testing. And why it's great is, you know, sometimes academics can write books and I'm sure they're very good, but they're way too hard to read. Um, and I don't mean that in a, it's just like they're, they're very inside themselves. Sam's book is eminently readable. It's incredibly important. Um, and I'm sorry that we don't have copies here. So that's Sam. Um, Nora Marsh. Um, in the middle here is the newly appointed head of the EQAO. Um, and her, she's going to explain where she was before, but her, she's there to lead the EQAO's modernization process. <laughs> modernization can mean so many things. Um, she is a passionate advocate for public education. We first met her through the Limestone Board, where she was looking at uh, streaming. Um, she's worked... Um, with Ontario's education community to strengthen student achievement at the school, school board, and provincial levels. Um, she's had lots of senior leadership in two boards, Limestone and the Ottawa Carleton Board, um, and at several provincial level education associations. Um, she, it says in her bio she's dedicated her career to creating growth opportunities and, and inclusive learning environments for students. And what I love personally about Nora is she is another person totally willing to talk about this. So again, this is a, a complex conversation, uh, n not about sides, but about how do we get to the kind of essence of this discussion. Ian Predigrew also. So Ian is from the Ontario Teachers Federation. He's been a teacher for 24 years. Um, he started with the OTF, the Ontario Teachers Federation, in 2013 as the Director of Curriculum and Assessment. Um, and among his many responsibilities there, um, he liaises with various stakeholders to address assessment and curriculum policies and practices. And before that, he was a department head, a resource teacher, an instructional coordinator um, in the Peel District. School, school board and the president of uh, the 
of a provincial uh, subject association. So Ian brings this vital voice um, from not just the Ontario Teachers Federation itself, but also from teachers about how are we thinking about um, and talking about assessment, both and then assessment in terms of what it means inside of classroom, but also then the impact of uh, large-scale measurement that sometimes can happen in terms of how teachers approach this. So they're each going to talk for hopefully seven minutes, um, and then we're going to have a discussion after that. So I'm going to turn it over to Sam first.